Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record The Selfish Giant from 1978. So let's get started. Once, long ago, in a far-off land, there was a beautiful garden. Nowhere in the world was there a garden like this one, for in it there was every kind of flower that bloomed, and nearly every tree on earth grew there. The birds came from far and near to sing in the branches of the trees, and the pond was filled with fish, and swans floated on the top of the water. Many kinds of ducks and geese swam on the blue waters. Most of all, this was such a happy place because of the children. Each day they would come to this garden and play. How pretty it is! Let's play tag! I love this garden! Now the owner of this garden had been away for many years. In fact, it was for so long that the people forgot just who owned this wondrous place. The owner? I believe it was... No, I can't remember. I think I know. It surely was... No, 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 it wasn't them. I don't know. It was clear that the people did not know who the owner was. Glass? You mean black glass? Please, I can come to order. I want you all to ask, please. Now, I want you all to ask me any question that you have, and I will try to answer it. Uh, Mr. Franklin, why does winter never come to that garden that we play in? Well, uh, well yes, uh, that is a very good question. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't know the answer. Oh, what's it? Well, the, the story goes that a dear, sweet old lady owns that garden, but she has been away for so long that no one really knows just who she is. Well, we're so lucky. Well, why is that, Bill? We have such a nice place to play in. Oh, I dare say you are right. For I do not think that there is another place like it in the whole world. I'm so happy when I'm in the garden. Come to think of it. I, too, played in there when I was your age. Was it pretty then? Oh, yes, just as it is now. You know that in all those years, the owner has never come home. I wonder why. And throughout the land, people began to wonder. Who is the owner? It's very strange. There's always summer in that garden. Why? That is what I would like to know. We should find out who the owner is and ask him or her why. Well, well, friends, as the teacher in this village, I say, let's go through the books in the library and find out the answer. Surely in the books written long ago, there will be an answer. So the village people went to their library and looked through the great books. What do we look under, Mr. Franklin? Well, I... I think that we should look under gardens. Yes, gardens. Well, the people looked and looked all day and all night. Well, we still cannot find the answer. Oh, this is all very strange. Very strange indeed. Well, far away from this happy land, the owner of the garden stayed. Now, the owner of the wonderful garden was not an old lady and not a common man. He was a giant. <laughs> This giant was in a neighboring land visiting his friend, Marvin Giant, and he had all but forgotten about his home. Uh, I like it here in your land, my friend. It is always wonderful when you come to visit. Uh, how long have I been here? Uh, I always lose track of time. Well, Kerry, yeah. I think you came here 70 years ago today. Oh, 70 years? Is that a long time? Oh, it is. It's a long time to be visiting someone. <laughs> when I came, I thought I was just going to spend the night. Well, you spent many nights <laughs> and many long days You here. know, 
I think I'd better go home soon. Oh, you want me to help you pack? Huh? Uh, I, uh, not that I want you to go. Well, if, if, if you want me to stay, then I shall. Well, friend, I think it would be better if you left. You're right. I'll leave tomorrow. Right now, it's nearly time for dinner, and I'm hungry, and your wife is a wonderful cook. Well, Marvin's wife, Hester Giant, was a wonderful cook. But having Carrie visiting them was a lot of extra work, and she was getting very tired of it. Oh, Marvin, are you certain he will be leaving tomorrow? While he was taking a nap, I snuck upstairs and packed his things. Oh, I'll put them at the front door of the castle, and then in the morning, out he goes. That is the best news I've heard in years. Oh, to think I won't have to cook for him again. And Marvin, yes. please, don't invite him again. No. Well, you had better tell him to sit down. Dinner is ready. Carry! Dinner in a giant's house was truly something to see. Across the table were spread 75 roasted ducks, lots of spinach to make them strong, 30 pitchers of milk, and seven chocolate cakes. Oh, what a wonderful dinner you made this night. Oh, thank you. And not thinking of either Marvin or Hester, Harry gulped down everything in sight. He then looked at his two friends and said, Oh, uh, you didn't eat anything. We are not hungry. Hey. Remember, tomorrow you're going home. Right. I know you're sorry to see me go. We are? <laughs> oh, 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 yes, of course, we are. Then I'll stay here for a few more years. No. I don't want you to be unhappy. No, 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 you don't have to. You have to go. Have to go? Why? Um, 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 well... My mother, Thelma Giant, is coming. That's right. We told her she could because you said you were leaving. I, I guess I have to go, but I'll come back real soon. And... <gasps> no, I think I'll go to sleep. I'm very tired. Good night. Good night. Oh. He's leaving. Hooray. Well, early in the morning, Marvin knocked very loudly on Carrie Giant's bedroom door. Nothing to hurt your garden. No! 
are. This is my place, and I want you kids out of here now and never come back. I want my garden for myself. You're a terrible giant. Uh, I don't care what you think of me. I own this garden. Now get out, you little noisy kids, and stay out. I don't believe it. The children ran crying out of the garden. They ran into the village. Why are you crying? The owner of the garden came back and chased us out. Who is it? A giant. And he's selfish. Can you grown-ups do anything about this? I don't know, but we can try. All the grown-ups of the village walked down the path to the garden. under a tree. They called to him. Uh, yes. uh, Mr. Giant, uh, may we talk to you? Who are you? Oh, excuse my manners. Hello. Now, what do you want? Have you driven the children out of your garden? I have. Uh, this is my place. But they love to play in it. So do I. <laughs> but it is such a large garden. It is big enough for all of you. They are so small. And are noisy. And they give you a headache. No, they cannot play here. Is that your final answer? It is. Now get away. Get away! You have a foot on my property! Get out! You don't want to get me angry! The village people left. They could not understand how anyone could be so selfish. And don't come back here! <laughs> I know. I'll build a wall around the garden that will keep everyone from seeing my flowers and trees, that only I will enjoy them, and never will those children set foot in here. Well, the giant worked all day and all night, and then all day and all night again, and the very high fence was soon finished. Now, I'll sit in my garden. <laughs> no one but me and the trees and the birds and the flowers. <gasps> now I'll put up the sign that I painted that no trespassing private property stay away. He was a very selfish giant. No, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't. I think I'll always stay here. Oh, it is so pretty. Well, the children had nowhere to go. They had nowhere to play after school each day. They would walk down to the great fence and try to look inside. I wonder why he doesn't like us. Do you think we'll ever see the inside of the garden again? I hope so. Well, I think I'll go home. Me too. There's no place to play. The children, who used to be very happy, all went back to their homes. The children were now the unhappiest in all the world. We never heard anything in the garden. I just don't believe it. They could not understand anyone being so mean and selfish. Now winter soon came, and for the very first time that anyone could remember, the trees in the garden lost all their leaves, and the flowers did not bloom, and all the birds flew away. The garden was barren, very cold. Uh, uh, I wonder why this happened. Oh, I hope spring will come. I don't like it now. Now the ruler of the winds of ice and snow summoned the great north wind to his side and said, Blow harder on the garden of the selfish giant. It is the saddest place on earth and it should be frozen. I shall do as you command. He then summoned ice and snow to him. Cover the ground with ice and snow, for the giant is a cold and selfish man. Spring shall not come to his garden this year. No flowers will bloom, no leaves will spring from the trees. This is my command. We do what you say. Now spring came to all parts of the village, and everywhere flowers bloomed, and the trees spread their leaves. But spring did not come to the giant's garden. Oh, the spring! I'll call out to the wind. Uh, hey! Glad you passed over my garden! Oh, it's cold in here, and I do not like it! I want spring to come to make my flowers bloom! I want your warmth! 
spring did not arrive. Instead, it got colder and colder. Oh, why has this happened? One morning, a little flower popped its head through the ice and snow. Uh, you're the first flower that's bloomed. Let me see how pretty you are. What? Spring has forgotten your garden? I will go back to sleep, for it is too cold for me here. The giant wrapped himself up and made a fire in the icy garden. <laughs> I do not like it here anymore. Then snow and hail flew overhead. I like it here. I shall make it hail. And I shall make it snow some more. A great hail and snowstorm fell from the sky all day. The hail rattled the little cottage that the giant lived in, and it hit with such force that it nearly broke the roof over his head. I cannot understand why the season of spring has not come. Seasons changed three more times in the world outside the garden. But in the garden, it was always winter. Then one day, the giant climbed up to look out at the world outside of his frozen garden. He saw flowers and birds and little animals, and he said, I will open the gate of my garden and visit the world outside. He opened the garden gate and stepped out into the warmth of the other world. Oh, it's so pretty out here. I think I will go for a walk. When the giant was out of sight, the children saw that the gate to the garden was open and said, The gate's open. Let's go in. Yeah, is the giant gone? He is. Come on. As the children yeah. stepped into the garden, a miracle happened. The snow and ice vanished. The trees burst forth with leaves, and the flowers all sprung up. And birds flew in and started to sing. Little chipmunks and squirrels ran all around as the children ran and began to play. It's wonderful to be here again. It is just beautiful as it used to be. The children were having a wonderful time. They did not see the giant come back. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in my garden? Get out! Oh, no, no! Oh, look how pretty it is. This is my place. Keep out, all of you! Out of here, all of you! A selfish giant once again drove the children from his garden. And stay out! Oh, now spring has come at last. I can enjoy my garden without having those kids running around. <laughs> then the giant turned back to the garden and saw that the leaves on the trees began to drop and the flowers began to droop. It was as if a cold wind had blown into the garden. The sky turned gray and snow began to fall. What's happened? Why is winter come again? It got colder and colder, and ice began to form on everything. Why is winter come? Why is it that when the children were here in the spring? Why? The giant then went into his house and sat down in a great chair and fell asleep. He woke to the sound of laughter and looked out of the window and saw a wondrous sight. Two children were playing in a tree. Where they were, it was spring. The tree was filled with leaves and flowers bloomed. But in other parts of the garden, it was still winter. I have been such a fool. It's the children. A world without children is always cold. Here where there are no children, it is always winter. He opened the door to his house and walked out. The children saw him. It's a giant. Let's get going. Hurry. Wait, don't run. They're gone. Oh, I have been such a fool. I'll take down my wall. I'll break the sign that tells everyone to stay out. All day the giant worked. And when the wall was down, he called. I have been a fool. Come, children. Come to my garden. Make spring come with your laughter and joy. Do you think it's a trick? Should we go? Let's ask the teacher. The children ran to the school and asked the teacher what to do. Yes, you will. I think the giant has learned a lesson. Go to his garden and uh, see what he wants. The children ran back to the garden, and they were greeted by the giant. Go, 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 play. Run, for your joy will make my flowers bloom, and I shall then be happy. As soon as the children took the first step into the garden, the flowers bloomed, the trees filled with leaves and birds. 
The giant's garden was truly a beautiful place again. May I play with you children? <laughs> sure, sure you can. Come, come on, let's play tag. Oh, good. The children played all day, and the giant had a wonderful time. I want you to come here every day and play with me. Oh, you've changed so. I've been selfish for much too long. <laughs> the giant invited children from all the world to his garden. And they came, and it was never winter there again. My, my, look how unhappy he is. <laughs> I, I'm glad that he has changed. We love you so much, and we are going to put up a statue of you in the village so that all will remember you forever. You honor me. Oh, thank you. It was a wonderful day. The people cheered as the statue of the giant was unveiled in the square of the village. Now give us a few words, uh, giant. Uh, I do not know what to say. Uh, my garden, my garden should always be as it is, so there will always be the sounds of children laughing and playing. Well, years moved on, and the giant grew older. He could no longer play with the children who came to his garden. Do you want to play with us? Oh, oh, oh thank you. I, I shall sit in my rocker and watch. I will be just as happy watching you play. And he did. Still, the children who loved him very much would always ask him, Do you want to play giant step with us? No, I, I cannot today. I am much too tired. I will sit and watch you play. One day, the giant woke up very early and saw a little boy playing under a tree. There were no other children in the garden so early. So the old giant walked down the stairs and out to where the boy was playing. Hello, little boys. It is so good to see your gift of love. Your hands and your feet, they are bleeding. Who dares to hurt you? The wounds do not hurt me, for they are the wounds of love. Who are you, little one? The giant then knelt down on one knee before the little boy. I want to play here for a little while. Then do so. For all children are welcome here. Then I want you to come to my garden. What is it called? Paradise. Take my hand. You are so warm. I would love to visit your garden. When the children came to play in the giant's garden that afternoon, they found their friend lying under a tree. They knew that the giant had gone to paradise covered him with flowers from his garden. The people never forgot him, and I know that they won't. A garden once existed where each blossom was a prize. A giant kept this treasure hid from all but So that was The Selfish Giant from 1978. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, have a groovy day. And our next video will be The Little Drummer Boy.